strange how easy it is to fall off of a habit. Like you build up a habit of years, well years, months of going to the gym like three days a week. I've re semi recently about a month ago, like upped it to four days a week. So I go to the gym. I used to swim Tuesdays, gym Thursdays and, and uh, Sunday. Now I gym Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, but I swim Friday. But then like you take some time off of that because uh, you're on call, you're on holiday, whatever. Been ill, I guess. And this morning I woke up, I did not want to go. And I was like, maybe you could go this afternoon. You work half day, so just go in the afternoon. No, don't do that because you fucking won't go, will you? I know you. I whipped myself into shape when yesterday as well. I was going to go swimming yesterday, but uh, like after my gym session, but didn't because of, uh, I didn't want like my, my swim stuff to be wet if I was going to use it the next day. Because the problem is when it's warmer, is it's, it's warm enough for the heating not to come on, but it's not necessarily warm enough for towels to dry very quickly, you know? Anyway, yesterday, looking out the pool, it's sunny. Oh my God, it looks like, it looked like bliss. I was like, oh, I could go out there and just have a little swim now. That'd be great. Um, today, drizzly, gray, cloudy. Today though, I'm trying to stay positive, uh, <laughs> relatively positive. I had something working on Wednesday. I tried to document it working on Thursday and it wouldn't work. I'm trying to figure out why it now won't work. So I'm in a position where I've got like half of the documentation written, <laughs> but no, it doesn't work. So I don't know if I've documented the right stuff, you know, and I'm trying to figure out what's broken because I haven't deployed anything. I've just messed around with local like certificates and stuff. Um, Cause I was showing the process of like setting it all up. And I can't get it working again. And when it's like that, you're like reticent. Reticent? I think that's the word I'm thinking of. I'm reticent to change too much because I haven't changed anything, but it worked. <laughs> and now it doesn't. It's gonna be something dumb. I just need to figure out what that dumb thing is. I am done for the day, boys and girls, and done for the weekend. It's basically lads weekend. Or lads half weekend, you and me. Laura's still at work. Oh, well, she works, she works all day, I don't. Um, she's at work. I am, although she best to be saying, uh, ironically, she's gonna put headphones on because there's less people in the office today, which is why she went in. Because she might find it less distracting than working here with me, how rude. To be fair, when she is here, Monty um, decides to try and make himself known and pulls random things off of this, this chest thing, whatever this is called. So, maybe she made the right call. Yeah, she's not here, to, uh, well, until this evening, and then uh, tomorrow, daytime, we get the day to ourselves, boys, we're gonna run around like lunatics. I just uploaded a video, um, the one uh, which at the moment, presumably, is called Pajama Girl Gets Married. From the couple of days where we headed up, uh, headed up north for Beth and Ben's uh, wedding. Um, and I just put, because the vlogs know, the vlogs, I, I've always, well, I don't know, I, so, blah, blah, blah. Back when I first started these vlogs, I kind of had code names for people. Um, it was one of the things that like, I agreed with uh, Laura, I'd keep Laura um, anonymous effectively. So I'd call her Lovely, which is looking back on is so fucking cringe. I should have just picked a different fucking name. I should have just called her Boris or, or Betty or something. Um, <laughs> but anyway, because you, you need to know the context that she's anonymous, you know, and even then it's, fucking not right but anyway it's by the way um so like when i first went to uni and i was vlogging and i just went back and watched some of those videos i still kept people anonymous like kind of almost through habit i guess um and pro well or i didn't know beth's name um and beth was first introduced to the video as pajama girl because like some i believe like i couldn't find the video where i did it and i just jumped, jumped through so maybe i've totally imagined it but people definitely know her as Pajama Girl. Um, so I've definitely said it at some point. But like she came into my room. We were both the people who didn't drink much at Freshers um, or in general. And she came into my room and we like talked or played games or something while everyone else was like smashed or, or it was getting a bit rowdy or whatever, I don't know. Can't remember the context, but that was like how she was introduced. And I was just like tired of the video. And I was like, I wonder if I could find the video where I called her Pajama Girl initially and just watched through like a couple of those videos from when I first went to uni and uh, annoyingly, <laughs> it's actually super annoying, YouTube annotations don't exist anymore. And that was how I used to link the videos together. It used to be like a fucking main channel, gaming channel, Christ. And then next video, previous video, they were like buttons on the screen. And I used to hand put them there every, every fucking day. Can you believe? 
Can you believe I used to put that much effort into these videos? Holy god damn, boys. I mean, to be fair, it's got like 50,000 views. What's my most viewed video? One of those bad boys. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I just watched two videos because they're the two I could find by going to like top 10 favorites. And I was like, firstly, cringy for the lovely thing, but also like, god damn, is it painful to watch myself uh, like struggling with freshers. <laughs> the whole point of this diary, video diary, which is what it was at the time, um, was to kind of force myself to be interesting because I would just kind of come home and play Xbox. And I'm now almost back into that stage, to be honest with you. I work all day, play Xbox. Um, uh, all right, go to school, come home, play Xbox, that's it. And if I watched enough videos where I did that, I'd be like, you need to stop doing this. <laughs> um, and go and do something interesting. But also like, obviously the other part is to kind of like chronicle. The idea was chronicle effectively A-levels, university, working, building my own business, working again. <laughs> but it's obviously relatively rare for me to go back and like dig stuff out unless like I need it for reference. It's quite good at figuring out when I moved places. <laughs> um, things like that, you know. Um, so, or like when I bought a car, that's quite useful to know. Um, it's not at all useful. But yeah, so and anyway, I just watched that video back and I was like, God damn, firstly, what the fuck? Clothes did I used to, to be fair, I still wear most of the same clothes, but like, uh, the one t-shirt I was wearing on like the Freshest Dilemma video, holy fuck, I don't know why the fuck I owned that, that's horrendous. Um, <laughs> and then, um, but yeah, watch myself back, it's like, God damn, that's, that's hard, my man. Especially just coming off the back of that, um, in that video about talking about the wedding, about like, my thing about friendships and whatnot. Um, yeah, so. Very interesting. It's three o'clock, it's cup of tea time. Um, and then I'm gonna do some washing up. And then I guess I'm gonna wait for Laura to come home. But I'm probably gonna do some sewing, baby. Hello. Just dropped Laura off at the train station and then got, I dropped off really early. So I got back here at like nine. Fishmongers doesn't open till 10. So I was trying to find a recipe. I'm having um, trout, um, but it's gonna be a nice like Asian trout. It's gonna be lovely. Then got penned down by the cat who was here, just like, just wanting like belly rubs basically. So I'm running late now. But we're going to run for the, to the fishmongers. We're going to the supermarket to buy some food for dinner and stuff in general for the weekend. And then it looks like, ah, it's sunny but cloudy at the same time. It looks like a nice day. We're going to take the bike out and we're going to go, um, go for a little shopping trip. How exciting. I want to try out my new bags before I have to go to work with them. Uh, okay, fish sorted, most of the dish sorted. I need to get some kimchi, um, but I'm going, where I'm going in a minute it has a Chinese supermarket, so I'm just gonna get it from there. They didn't have it in our, in our supermarket, did it? But it's just still a small one. My problem now, though, is I wanna go out of this door. The cat's here, he's gonna wanna go out of that door, but I also need to faff around with a bike. The plan of attack is get changed. I'm not gonna wear gym stuff, I'm just gonna put shorts and a t-shirt. Well, I've got a t-shirt on, you know what I mean? Shorts on. Although I can't put this t-shirt on because my shorts are blue. I'm gonna get changed and try and get my bag ready. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave out the front door. I'm gonna take, sort out the bike, leave my bag by the front door, and then do the full loop, get my bag from the front door so it kind of distracts Monty from the back door. That's my plan. Also means I can shut this door while I sort everything out, do the loop, Come in, pick up my bag, open this door, and we're laughing. That's my plan of attack. Right, so let's put some cycle-friendly clothes on, Moo Moo. It's quite warm today, so. I was cycling um, back from work, I'd wear gym stuff, but it's been this day. I'm not like cycling fast, I'm just using the bike, just cause why not, kind of thing. I've got a two shoes, so I'm trying to get out of the habit of using the car just because you can. And like, why? why? It's not like I need to rush to this place and rush back. So I may as well just kind of, you know, bumble my way there, practice using my bike before I have to use it to start to work. I wonder where the cat is. What I do need to do before I go is charge my phone because for some reason I'm on like 10% battery. I must have put it on the wireless charger. Wrong. So I'm gonna put it on my desk charger, which is faster. Harder to miss the desk charger as well. It's like a little cradle. Um, right, so let's put on some cycle ready clothes. Or do I want to wait? For, let's do some washing up and then do that because Stop talking nonsense. Let's put on some cycle clothes and 
take a little bumble out on the bike. I need to get some mud guards. Try and find some dime bars. Take Monty's recycling to the recycling thing and some kimchi. Okay, so I'm rolling out. I have um, my phone. I'm just gonna go in my bags eventually. Helmet. Decided I'm gonna go like the scenic route in. I'm not gonna, I'm not like cycling fast or anything, or like I'm not going out for exercise, but I'm just gonna go like a longer, nicer way down uh, to like Ikea area. And then I've got to, I'll just come like the straight way back or as straight as I dare, because it's most people coming on the way back. We kind of live at the <laughs> top of a big old hill, so. Unfortunately, unavoidable. Um, I so phone, keys, camera, wallet, most of which can go in here. Got hand sanitizer because I'm going to be touching stuff. I've got tool kit, tools for hopefully so I can fit my mud guard while I'm there. Helmet can go in this bag until I'm like actually about to go. Why is there Velcro here and here when this is in the way? Is it unless you're why? What? I don't know why I sealed that. I'm going to put some more stuff in it. So, plan of attack then. I am going to shut this door, go out, unlock the bike, move it round, come back in, open this door, go, in the, go out the front door. That way the cat is relatively chill about the thing and then I'll just leave it, leave the bike in the alleyway while I sort the cat out, put my bike lock into here. Let's go, man. Let's go. Here we are, pet food pouches recycled. So now we're going to find some mud flaps, baby. That's annoying, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to fit that here and now, but anyway. It's it's weird because I don't really want to like spend a lot. Hopefully this Chinese supermarket is over. Kimchi is Korean. Yeah, it's weird. I don't really want to like, I want to make sure I've got all of the right stuff to commute into work, which is why I wanted this. Because like if I get caught in the rain or I go have to go through a puddle or something, at least that's like a bit of protection if I'm wearing my jeans or whatever. Because I don't always want to have to wear like exercise stuff. Although I would opt for exercise stuff if it's anywhere near close hot, close to hot, you know. Today I bumbled down along the river um, and uh, it was <laughs> the slowest cycle I've ever done. Because there's so many just people just on the path, like four wide, oblivious. And I can't bring myself to ring my bell like a knobhead, you know. We're going directly back in a way. I've got to figure out how to cycle with, with that there. To be fair, these might fit like underneath this strap on the outside, to be fair. I like this supermarket. I used to come here quite a lot when I lived near, like closer on when I had my little studio flat. Um, but the problem is like, it's a proper Asian supermarket. Like nothing's in English. <laughs> if you don't know what you're looking for, you're done. And I don't want to ask someone for kimchi and risk offending, you know? I'm going to try Tesco instead. I'm sure that'll be fine. Anyway, on the bike, I, I want to like make sure that I've got all of... It's weird because I want to be in a position where I can justify getting a new bike effectively because I don't really like my bike at all. It's not a very good one. It was a cheap one that we got ages ago. But like I can't use it a couple of times and then go, oh, now I can spend a thousand pounds on a bike i'll get it through like the suck to work scheme so it won't be that much money but you know what i mean um but i've seen one i like that's like 800 so the cycle to work scheme puts out about 600 ish i think maybe a bit less um but anyway um i'm trying to make sure i get things that are like either suitable for this bike or will be suitable for the next or is like cheap enough to warrant buying better for the next one anyway um one o'clock, what am I going to have to look? I think it's about 15 minutes if I go direct instead of going to the scenic route. I'm looking around at all of these fast food places being like... No. Absolutely do not want a 75 pence hot box. Look, I'm here for dimes. I don't want little dimes, I want big dimes. Oh look, I'm disappointed. No dime bars, only the dime minutes. I want the big ones. Oh my god. Let's see if Tesco have any. Anyway, we'll have them. It's Ikea though. My foot's starting to hurt and I'm really hungry. Um, so I might have to pick up like a cake or something to eat before I get on my bike and go back and get lunch at home. Time's flying actually, to be honest. It's quite long, um, a long little out in this. But it's good because like, there's no reason for me to bring the car. So I'm trying to reduce car journeys. We don't really use the car in a way, but like we're doing quite a lot of runs up to Nottingham and back. Um, so I'm trying to reduce it as best I can. Go on my bike, do a little bit of exercise, it's good for you. Even though it was the most relaxed cycle down ever. Cycle back up though is more complicated. 
Oh, my right foot hurts though. What is that? Well, I am knackered. It is definitely hotter now than it was when I set off. <laughs> um, pretty warm, pretty sweaty on the way back, but it's fine. Go back. I've just been sat in the garden for a while with Monty. I've put the washing out, which I should have done this morning. I thought about it this morning. I was like, ah, I've probably missed the boat because it's not that warm out and it's a bit gray. And I'm like, I've probably missed the boat. You probably need to get out earlier, but it's now like 21, 22 degrees outside and bright sunny. So I'm like, fuck it. I've gone back. First thing I did, had some fruit to tide me over for lunch. What is that cat doing? Keep my hubby chasing a fly. He absolutely is. I can see it now. Oh, out of reach, Monty. Do you need Davros in around? No, I just had him clamber up onto my desk to chase that fucker. So you're going up. Get out of my face. But yes, yeah, so I had some lunch, I sorted out the washing. I put my um, front one on. I don't need a back one, but I don't fit. I can't fit a back one on my bike. At least that one I can't fit on anyway because of like how the forks of the suspension are. Um, and if I was to put it, I can't put it any higher because my bike rack, which I didn't really think about at the time, that is probably acting as a sufficient um, thing. So that's fine. Um, but anyway, so I'm just like, okay, right, I'm gonna kill some weeds in the alleyway. Because like a couple of weeds are growing up in the alley that gets to the back of the garden. Um, and then I'm like, right, let's put my bike back. Put the cat inside. I put the cat inside before I did the weed killer. Um, front tire, flat as oat, mate. Flat as oat. So I'm going to have to try and... I'm going to order a new inner tube rather than uh, try and fix it. Because it's ancient. I felt like I said, I've had that bike for like eight years. So it's not been pumped up for ages. So I kind of assumed it would have a slow puncture anyway, but... That's a puncture. I got that today. Monty's asking me for help to catch the fly. Jimmy, I need your help. Where can I put the camera? Put you on super wide, but it's run away now. I was like, just could try to find a place to put you down. And then he's disappeared. So Monty's chased him into there. Anyway, um, I am going to have a shower because I'm all grotty from sorting out the bike and a weed killer and stuff. And then it's probably time for dinner. God, the time, day really flies, doesn't it? I need to tidy up in here as well. God, that is very wide, isn't it? Jesus. Right, I've had a cup of tea, I'm showered. It's dinner time. Number one is I need cooked rice. Now this is gonna be an interesting dinner. I'm merging together two recipes. One for kimchi fried rice, which in theory you do with a sauce. I'm not doing that sauce. What I am doing is lemon and soy um, trout with a pan sauce. So you do it in the pan, make, and then the fish sauces are in the pan, and I'm mixing them. I don't know whether or not to, to use the sauce from the fish in the rice, or just to kind of drizzle it on top, but I think it just mix it through, just kind of go fucking ham. Why the fuck not, you know? So we're doing a bit of an experimentation, boiling the water to get some rice in. I need to do some washing up. By the time I've done that, rice should be done. Face is really dry, Monty's knackered, he's upstairs. I have got the just details of my um, bike wheel, I need to get some inner tubes. I would usually fix it, um, but like I say, the, the inner tubes were flat for like three years, and I kind of expected them to have some kind of slow puncture in a way, because they'd, they'd been relaxed for so long, you know, like properly flat, properly relaxed. Um, so I feel like patching them is a, bit, is a bit wild. So I'm just gonna save all of my patching equipment, my whatever it's called. You like put your repair kits. Save all of that, save yourself some time, get some of those, and then maybe I think you can get like slimy ones, can't you, that are a bit more resilient as well. So I might get some of them. Or is that the tire? Can't remember, I'll have a look one in online. But I've just been sat here having a cup of tea, chilling after my shower. Too hot, because it's so warm. And now I'm like, okay, so it's 20 to 6. I've got to pick up Laura, I think at 20 past 8, unless she gets an earlier train. And it looks like she might be getting an earlier train. Let's fucking move, move, move. I wasn't gonna start cooking till six. Um, but I've just like, because I'm doing two recipes together. Uh, oh god, I really felt. Because uh, I'm doing two recipes together, I've like joined them up on a piece of paper. Because I've got to be switching between them with my phone. And that means I've got to like wash my hands. So I've summarized them on a piece of paper. Um, so I have to wash my hands as often. Because I fucking, I overly, I excessively wash my hands when I cook. Whenever I touch anything. That's why I get dry hands. Okay, here we are. Mise en place, boys and girls. Mise en place. 
These are all excess. They're supposed to go inside the... Why do I need an entire onion to stuff a fish? Obviously not. Um, <clears throat> this is for the fish sauce. This is for the rice. I just need to do garlic. And there's a couple of juices. So that's garlic. Couple of juices. Oh, great. Let's do some grating. And I need to press my lemon. Otherwise, uh, the oven is heating up. Um, I don't know why I just recorded because it didn't start the way I expected it to start. <coughs> right, we're ready. The mise en place. First up, we need to fry off the fish in this pan. This pan is going to be warming up on the back hob. And then, when the fish goes in the oven to finish, the sauce is going to move to the back hob. This is going to move onto the front hob. It's going to get cranked up high. Oh, the rice is there, baby. Let's go. It's half 20 past six. Here we go, boys. Very improvised um, hot lemon soy fish. Kimchi rice with hot lemon soy fish sauce instead of like whatever, Korean fried gochujang, etc. Not a lot went down yesterday. Um, after dinner, I was in very rushed. Got Laura back, watched some TV. That's about it. Woke up this morning, went to the gym, and then my headspace, I was in like, you know what, I don't want to do anything today. And that's what I did. Like I say, I've started, I started to feel, I said the other day, like my headspace slide a little bit. And today I'm like, I don't want to do anything. I went to the gym, came back, and I'm like, I don't want to do anything today. I just want to sit in pyjamas and do nothing. And part of me was like, no, you need to do something. And I'm like, no. Jimmy, this is what you're supposed to do. So I sat downstairs, I finished my book, I watched a load of Better Call Saul, did a load of sewing, which was vexing because it's really fucking hard. <laughs> and I might try another one. Um, yeah, I did some nice as well. What else did I do? Oh, cook dinner and whatnot. That's the only thing I did, cook. But right. it's bedtime. Work tomorrow. So probably should have ended the video yesterday. I didn't realise how long this video had gone. Um, in a previous life, I would have probably bullied myself into doing stuff yesterday. Like, you can't just sit around. I literally sat on my ass <laughs> in my pajamas and watched TV and read my book and did a bit of sewing all day. Like, I didn't do anything else. And Laura's doing like cleaning and stuff, which is good because <laughs> literally like two days earlier, we were talking about how I do everything around the house. <laughs> so I don't feel too guilty. Normally I'd have felt guilty if I hadn't had that if, we, if like Laura didn't come to me and was like, do you think I do enough? <laughs> um, but anyway, so don't try and haze me for being a bad boyfriend. Um, <laughs> but uh, so anyway, um, I literally sat and did nothing. And like in a previous life, I'd have bullied myself into doing something and then not felt better for it. But I was like, I, all I want to do is this. So I'm going to, I can afford to just do that for a day. That's fine. You know, so that's what I did. Um, and now today I'm waking up. Um, Get ready for a work day um and that's that's how i'm rolling i do have like a weird like stomach issue um where i just get like a really like painful like just at the top of your abs i think that is literally where your stomach is like because it's a lot higher up than people think it is like just underneath my rib cage the other night i woke up in like serious pain but then like today i'm a bit more like normal but i can still feel it a little bit you know but Anyway, apart from that, we're going to have a great day. Made the same mistake I always do, which is assume that I can go a weekend without turning my computer off. And inevitably, <laughs> inevitably they want to do a, a fucking update. Who in their right mind is going to do an update on... Oh my god, sweet times, my lord. It's like, we need to update your computer by Wednesday. I'm like, well, you may as well do it now, haven't you? Because clearly by Wednesday I'm going to be in the middle of something and I'm not going to want to restart my computer. Um, so I'm just now like trying to make it so I can get everything back once I've I've got all these tabs. I want these tabs. So these have to be the last tabs to close. Close that. Let's do a restart. Um, but yeah, so we're back at... Oh God, that's a big one as well. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I, but like I say, I'm not in a big... Um, not particularly in a great mood these for some reason over the past couple of days. And I am just doing everything I can to try and not make it worse. That's my strategy. So I'm like trying not to fall down a hole on the internet, watching things I shouldn't watch, like TikToks for hours at a time. I think to be honest with you, the truth is I fell out with 
embroidery and that's been like the most relaxing thing I've done. But like I keep, look how far I've got with this, these things. I had three more yesterday, but I had to unpick these two because they fell apart. It's just not fun anymore, you know? But I'm trying to like get back into, I used to get in the habit of when I was like waiting for a build or a release, if I had nothing else to do, I would sew. Now, I don't do that. I like scroll on my phone or whatever, like read the news or some shit, which is always miserable. <laughs> so yeah, I've been struggling for some reason and I'm trying my best not to. Um, it should have been a long work Monday today, but I had a line instead. Again, that's what I wanted to do. I felt tired when I woke up, so I went back to sleep. But lucky me, I saw my emails before I restarted my computer. We have some more compliance training to do. So now when I'm waiting for releases, I could do compliance training. Oh yeah. The other thing I think I've struggled with recently is um, the gym. So I've been going to the gym. Oh my God. Obviously like since last week, I went Tuesday, Thursday, Friday morning swim, Sunday gym. Um, and that was like the first time I'd gone for like four times a week for weeks, right? Like yesterday, I went with the intention of going for like a long time and um, Anyway, I went on the treadmill and my like foot and shin hurt a little bit. It's kind of by the by. So instead I did um, uh, rowing, which was fine for my shin and my foot. So. Did 6,000 meters faster than my pace that I last did 5,000 meters. So I'm just trying to like get better and stuff. But what I feel like I've lost is like, I've lost the, um, like what I'm aiming for, you know? Like, cause I'm not really going for any, like, I'm not going, it's basically all for like mental health rather than anything else. I got to a point, I joined the gym cause I got to a point where I knew I was unfit. Like my heart rate got too high unnecessarily. Um, and I'd get out of breath doing things that I shouldn't get out of breath doing. Even though like, I know I'm like, I've, my build is like really stick thin and like whatever. I just knew I was like cardiovascularly unfit. So I really like going and doing cardio. But I've got to the point now where I just kind of do the same time. Like I go and do the same kind of stuff and I don't know what I should be aiming for, whether or not I should go and do like weight stuff or cardio stuff or whatever. Um, and I like battered myself on this rowing machine <laughs> and then it was like, well, I can't, I can't physically do the rest of the stuff because I'm like knackered from that like 30 minutes on the rower. But yeah, I felt like there was a point where I was trying to get like my 5k run faster, my row faster. I was doing like certain plans on like Gymshark, but now I kind of go, you know what I mean? Like I go there and I don't know what to do. And I feel like that's not helping my um, stuff. Cause I obviously when I initially started like the progress curve, it started to plateau. Cause I'm effectively, I'm doing the same stuff all the time, which isn't how you get better. Um, so yeah, I just need to, I need to figure that out as well, but it's, that's also not helping my like, um, cause that was how I made myself feel better. You know? I, I like the idea of sweating to like get your brain better. Um, I'm waiting for a build. Don't get me downstairs, but what bowl? Talk to you for a bit. My belly as well, man, I'm quite hungry. See, I don't know, am I hungry? Or is it just my thing I was talking about earlier? I don't know. I'm one compliance training down. <laughs> Do my first release. I, I was testing, I'm doing a demo tomorrow and I was like, I need to test this demo. And obviously it was working on Friday, obviously it stopped working again. I know someone threatened to rebuild something. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, hopefully that's not the thing. So I'm just, I'm opening it up now just to see if it's, if it's working. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so anyway, I don't know why I started talking now. I forgot what I was going to say, halfway through what I was going to say. So I just rambled. It's a big social week for me anyway, so I'm going to be actually out quite a lot Thursday and Friday and probably hopefully Wednesday if the weather holds out. Tomorrow I should have my bike tyre back and I should be able to fix my bike. Um, should come today, but I'll have time to do it tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow afternoon. Um, because Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to be in the office. Crazy. And I'm actually, Wednesday, maybe not, but on Thursday and Friday, I'm going to be working with people. Wild. Eh, my life. I had a, um, today is not going to plan. Got pulled into an interview. Um, I've been trying to like prep for a demo tomorrow. I raised, so I've raised some PRs that are going through effectively just like a eyeball code check. They're not going to prod or anything silly like that. Um, then I got like, I was prepping for a demo slash sprint review tomorrow and then got pulled into an interview, pulled through that interview, found out about, how are you doing? Jamie, why are you coming in? You're so noisy. 
has been having a fight with this ball. He doesn't like, you know, he can't tell if he likes it or not. So anyway, and then I find out that, like, basically I'm going to have a shit a couple of weeks <laughs> at work because I'm getting the shit end of a stick. Um, so, anyway, so I'm having my lunch. I feel my phone's buzzing with Teams messages. I'm, I look at the chat and I'm like, it's, it's like the on-call stuff is irrelevant to me. I'm not on-call this week. Um, all of this stuff. I go upstairs and then someone has sent an email to our CTO <laughs> and it's just like causing mayhem. It's just like messaging people being like, this person's reporting this, we need to investigate it. We're like, we see no issue on any of our systems for, for this at all. Like, and I just had to email the customer and be like, um, could you send us through some IDs? We're not seeing any irregular behavior on our side. Um, they're reporting zero, of zero messages effectively. We're like, we're definitely sending at least 100 every 30 minutes. <laughs> right this very second and you're accepting them all. Um, can you send us some IDs? My email was, can you send us some IDs? Because it might be possible that like, you're expecting 112 and you're only getting 110. <laughs> and I'm trying to word that email because they've come to us and said, we're getting nothing. And I'm going back to them saying, you're definitely getting something. Maybe you're not getting everything. Can you give me some IDs so I can investigate that? <laughs> you could still be correct, but not quite. So, but yeah, I go over it, it's just mayhem. I'm trying to do this fucking presentation. <laughs> Hey Monty, I'm coming in to bother you again. Hello, how you doing my little baby? But it's a good bothering because I want to ask you if you want to go out for walkies. Do you want to go for walkies? Yeah. Come on then, let's go. Walkies, let's go. Come on my little baby, let's go walkies. Where are you going? Where are you going? That's not where the back door is. That just, this door shouldn't be open though. Let's catch you. You gotta come up. You gotta come up to this. Right, sit, sit, sit. I don't want to sit, Jimmy. You're not going to feed me. Sit. Ready, ready. Hey, good boy. Who's a good boy? Sit down nice. There you go, now he sits down. Give me a leg. Oh no, not yet. Don't give me a leg yet. Hey, sit. Can't go yet, boy. Give me a leg. Quick. Thank you. Come here, you big fluffy monster. It's going outside time. You hear him growling. Come on, baby. Oh, it was sunny just a second ago. Please don't say it's going to rain. I mean, I'll take him out now because I've just put his thing on, but I want to sort my bike out. Drizzle starts soon. I really fucked that up. I'm really sorry, Moo Moo. My cock's up there. It basically instantly started raining. <laughs> I had to let him be the one that realised he didn't want to be out there because I just let him out. But then he, then he felt like he would have a better chance running away from the rain than letting me bring him inside. But he's inside now. He's drying himself. Sorry about that, Moo Moo. I saw an opportunity to try and do, I saw just sunny. I mean, look sunny now. I saw sun and I saw an opportunity to change my bike tire. And I took it, okay? No rest for the wicked in these, these days, boys. Uh, yesterday, granted, I took the off, didn't do anything. Today though, whew, all kicked off work-wise. Just like lots of things changed. Happy days, I've not prepared for my presentation tomorrow, but I have prepared for the demo part. That's the most important part. I should have time to uh, to cover it in the morning though, that's fine. I need to uh, finish work. Had to like log back on to send an email, um, but otherwise finish work fine. I think we wear shorts tomorrow, boys. I think we wear shorts. Um, went, cooked dinner, went shopping, did some cleaning. Laura's doing some gardening while I went shopping and I prepped my bag for tomorrow. Can't decide whether or not I'm going to go, it's a weird week this week because I've got so much socialising to do. Can't decide whether I'm swimming or not in the morning. Um, I said, didn't I, that I need to figure out ahead of time whether or not I am, what I'm doing before I go, but I'm not doing that. Are these two blues too close together? The answer, unfortunately, is yes. Um, but yeah, so I'm either doing rowing, see, so whether or not I can go swimming when I... FML, the next t-shirt in here for me to wear is blue. <laughs> no, got a red one. Um, if I do rowing tomorrow, it's going to be hard. I've got to do eight intervals, 400 metres at the pace I did 15 one minute intervals, which is like 151, which is fast, fast for 400 metres. That's fast as fuck. Um, that's like a minute and a half pace for 400 metres. That's going to be knackering. 
or I do swimming because I can't do swimming on Friday. Or it's unlikely I'm going to do swimming on Friday. Very unlikely. In fact, I'm already writing it off. So what I'm doing is I'm prepping a gym bag for, for all eventualities. I have clothes to wear to the gym, clothes to wear to come home in and or going, and I've got my swim shorts for swimming in and i'll take my swim bag downstairs happy birthday right that's the end of this video ladies and gentlemen i hope you've enjoyed it i'll catch you later